Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ahmed Zahoor from Electronics Engineering Department of University of Engineering and Technology, Texala, and also affiliated with Research Group Syndicate of Embedded and Electronic Design Seed. Today, I am presenting my research article named as Intelligent System for Human Context Recognition. The content that I am covering in my presentation are Introduction, Materials and Method, Result and Conclusion. Introduction sections are divided into three subsections that are motivation behind this research about the sensor which is used MPU 6050 and the literature review. Motivation. Human-centered computing is an emerging research field that aims to understand human behavior and integrate users and their social context with computer system. Activity recognition aims to recognize the actions and goals of one or, or more individual from a series of observation on the agent section and the environmental conditions. Automatic recognition of behavioral context can serve health monitoring, aging care, and many other domains. What kind of activities is the person doing or what is the body posture state? Human context recognition can serve as monitoring physical activity, logging older adults, functional independence to promote aging at home, and context adaptive personal assistance system. MPU 6050. It is a six dimension motion sensing device consists of three axis accelerometer and three axis gyroscope. It can measure velocity, orientation, acceleration, and displacement. It is a low cost and high performance device. For human context recognition, MPU 6050 are used and placed on the chest of different subjects. Literature review. In the literature review, I'm going to discuss how the previous work were done in the past year, which were related to our project. As you can see, in 2004, researchers acquired data from 20 subjects by using 5 by axial accelerometer. They used three classifiers to achieve 84% accuracy by using mean energy entropy features. In 2009, Nokia N95 accelerometer are used with KNN classified and they achieved accuracy of 89%. In 2010, smartphone tri accelerometer is used for human context recognition. Kernan discriminant analysis is used to extract significant nonlinear discriminating features and achieved accuracy of 96%. In 2014, wearable devices with sound recognition system are used for human context recognition. Hard-like features are used with hidden Markonica model classifier, and they achieve accuracy of 96.9%. In 2018, the researcher used extrasensory app to acquire data from different sensors of smartphones, and they used multiple layer perception technique to to acquire um, uh, technique uh, to acquire, uh, and achieve accuracy of 83%. Met methodology. Our first step was data acquisition. Then we performed pre-processing, feature extraction, and classification. Data acquisition. For gathering data, we use MPU 6050 that interface with Arduino. MPU 6050 was mounted on chest of different subjects. Data gathered from 37 subjects. Total 539 samples were taken at sampling, at sampling frequency of 8 Hz. This table shows the number of samples of each class that were we obtained. This figure shows the raw data of walking and lying down gathered from gyroscope and accelerometer. Pre-process. Pre Pre-processing. After acquiring data, it contains noise and artifacts. So there is need of pre-processing for signals. Empirical mode decomposition technique is used for removal of noise and for extraction of area of interest from, from the raw signals. EMD decomposes the signal into independent sets of amplitude and frequency modulated signal components known as intrinsic mode functions and has a residual signal as well 
the first IMF has the highest frequency and then it gradually decreases to its number. Since there is need to remove low frequency wave signal because they contain noise, so we selected IMF1. Feature extraction. The most important step in our research is feature extraction. A number of time-based features were used for attaining maximum accuracy. Following two features gives maximum accuracy, that is standard deviation and log energy. Accelerometer signals were distinguished with standard deviation while gyroscope signals were distinguished with log energy. Classification. For classification, spot vector machines of Kenneth Quadratic used as classifiers. SVM wheels and ideal hyperplane as a decision surface to maximize the margin of separation in the information between two classes. Spot vectors indicate to our tiny samples of training observations that are used to support the decision surface optimal place. SVM divides the, the plane may be linear or polynomial. For testing the results, 10 fold cross validation are used. SVM decreases the complexity of system and it is a best classifier. Results. <laughs> Results obtained from this classification are shown in this slide. Classification performance checked on proposed features by several classifiers. Extensive experimentation has been performed to attain maximum accuracy for detection and classification of human context recognition. Maximum results were obtained by using SVM quadratic and SVM cubic. As this, as this uh, table shows that SVM quadratic and cubic gives highest accuracy of 100%. In this study, the most important task after feature extraction was to identify best features through which different classes of human context recognition can be classified. Table in this table summarizes the features selection process which shows that maximum accuracy is achieved by using only two features that include standard deviation and log energy. These are the confusion metrics showing accuracy of each class with quadratic SVM. Conclusion. Classification of human context recognition done through MPU 6050. Method proposed for pre-processing is empirical mode decomposition. Time domain features were extracted. SVM quadratic cubic achieved highest accuracy of 100%. Proposed method has less computational time and robust. It is a cost-friendly and easier to use system. Thank you.